Hey, Louisiana School Boards Association has been around for uh, quite some time, from actually for more than 85 years. This is the 75th convention of the Louisiana School Boards Association. The purpose of this association is to do a number of things, including uh, provide school board members with uh, the necessary training to become uh, involved, active members of their local school boards, and to arm school board members with information regarding uh, those issues that affect public education that are national issues, uh, state issues, and to bring to the attention of local school boards officials uh, the action that is being taken by the national and state government with regard to public education. Uh, it also serves as a means of bringing groups together to form a common goal and common opinions with regard to uh, services that school boards provide for the children of the state of Louisiana. What are some of the major issues in this session of the legislature? This session of the legislature will be a session of the legislature that will focus on a number of issues that the Louisiana School Board will have considerable concern. Uh, the major issues will be the issues of funding for public education. Um, the, as it relates to the funding piece, um, we are concerned that additional dollars are not being put into the education pot as what is happening with regard to uh, funding for public education. There's a shifting or uh, shuffling of those dollars uh, from one program to another and uh, we're also concerned about uh, the implementation of programs and practices uh, in public education that uh, uh, programs that have no validity, uh, programs that have not worked, uh, programs where their uh, research does not support uh, the notion that uh, they will have any value uh, in terms of trying to address the issue of student achievement. I'll tell you, with regard to all the reforms that we're dealing with, there's a lot of reforms that are going to be coming through. The sole role of the LSVA is to represent people. We're the largest group of elected officials in the state, 650, excuse me, 658, I believe. Our main goal is to make sure that people are represented in this process and that as reforms move forward, uh, that we have accountability for those reforms. And we also need to make sure that politics doesn't get too far into them. Uh, and that people are protected and that education is protected. And that, that's kind of our main role and our main goal. We're, we're kind of the guardians of the people to make sure that their voice is expressed as people come up with new reform ideas. So when it comes to teacher evaluations, uh, vouchers, uh, virtual schools, our main role is to make sure that the reforms are good, that there's accountability, i.e. when a student goes to a virtual school or a student goes to a you know, a, 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 a charter school or a student goes to any of the new proposals that they're actually counted and that the scores are counted. And that if they go to a private school with a voucher, that that school is, is counted and has a score. Because people need to know where they're sending their kid, what their, their children's uh, school is rated, and also you know, what kind of progress is being made. So I, I think people will be surprised that this is a fairly reform-minded uh, organization. Some people will try to cast it otherwise, but I think the main role is to make sure that there's accountability with all of this, because without the accountability, reforms can go very far afield. The major uh, problem with school boards today is funding, you know, the budgets. We are always getting cut, uh, you know, for funding for our, for our children. And, uh, you know, different programs are being cut, especially like pre-K, and uh, which we feel that is necessary to have that additional funding because this is where children learn to begin. Many children have come from the poverty level in our state. And with the pre-K program, it gives them an opportunity to have a chance to succeed early in life and be better students. What would you like to see happen in this coming session of the legislature? Well, there's so many issues being taken apart right now. One of the issues is uh, tenure for teachers. Uh, that's going to be one of the big topics coming up. And also, um, again, you know, charter schools and vouchers. So it's going to be a very demanding uh, session. 
and we're hoping that a lot of our delegation who are here representing the children will attend many of these sessions and show our support. I think the major issue for us, and it's been like this for the last four years, is the MFP funding. In order to run a proper system, you need proper funding. And the children is the best, most important asset in, in Louisiana. And we need our governor and legislators to properly fund the MFP. It always concerns uh, the amount of funding to the MFP formula that local school boards are going to get. And uh, having just attended the Bessie board meeting uh, last Monday uh, and found out, you know, the, uh, the way the money is going to be distributed, uh, is, is, is a cause for uh, great concern uh, of members of the uh, Louisiana School Boards Association. And so we, we have a, uh, a real uh, hard job ahead of us convincing legislators that the, the funding formula is, uh, is not very equitable and that we need to really work on that to make sure every child, uh, every public school child is well taken care of. It's a privilege for other people to go to private schools, but we have a constitutional right to educate every uh, public school child in this state. We have to take every child that comes to our doors, they get to cherry pick the ones that they want. And that's the big difference that, uh, that, that those legislators need to be aware of, how it's gonna negatively, negatively impact uh, our ability to, to, to provide the services for every school child in Louisiana. I have to tell you, you are the front lines. You in Louisiana. Both the, you have the, dealt with the aftermath of Katrina and Rita, and you've also been experiencing the floodwaters rising on public education and school board leadership. How many of you believe that public education has been under attack in Louisiana? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's comforting to know that that's the case nationally, but it's the case nationally now, too. You have been witnessing firsthand the challenges of choice, of charters, of vouchers, siphoning off the precious resources that we have to educate our children. You have been uh, witness to the issues of No Child Left Behind and labeling all of our schools as failures and diverting precious funds away from what we do. And we've all been experiencing the financial crisis, which we hear is actually going to get worse for us before it gets better because of how much of our resources Medicare, Medicaid will be consuming. We have the demonizing of teachers that's been going on across this nation. Public education in Louisiana is strong. Uh, we do have uh, some areas of, of the state that, that uh, are suffering uh, economically. And, and, and poverty is a big issue in, in, in a lot of areas of the state. It has, a, it has a big effect on a child's ability to, to learn. But the majority of school districts are increasing student achievement by leaps and bounds. Uh, and the fact that there's, a, there's some who need, who need our help is what we ought to be doing as an association and as a community. Because our communities are going to suffer if we have bad education. That's just a given. But most of the communities in this state are doing a good job and we want to continue to do that and, and build on that. Public education has been around a long time, and of course we are here to promote public education in, in for, our, for our kids. We don't feel like we should have different areas for charters and different areas for vouchers. We feel that we are public education. We're here to educate all children, and this is one thing I think that we want to emphasize during the convention. Children comes first. We need to do everything we can to make children first in our parish and in and, and parish and state. We in St. Tammany, that, that's our motto in St. Tammany, kids are first. And we do everything around the kids when we do all of our planning. And so that's what I wish the conference would do for the state. Kids are first and let's do everything would make the kids succeed in Louisiana. Public education is the great equalizer. It's what allows all of the children in the state to have the same fair shake. And I think this organization's role is making sure, representing all of our districts and all of our people, to make sure that everybody gets the same educational opportunity. And I think that's why we're especially paying attention to vouchers, virtual schools, and other mechanisms, because we need to make sure that all of those ensure an equitable and fair education for all of our children. And when you go into those new fields, you need to make sure that a child sitting at home on a computer is going to be getting the full quality education. You need to make sure that when a child goes to a private school, 
they're going to be getting a high quality education because as of right now, private schools are not part of the accountability system. They do not receive a grade. They're not part of our statewide system. So those are concerns from those of us that are on the ground that are elected to represent smaller districts. Uh, those are the questions that we have. And I think if all of our, all of our concerns are met, then I think most people would be surprised to hear that school board members are in favor of a lot of the reforms that are, that are coming down, as long as we can be assured that they're serving children. I'd like for the public to be uh, keenly aware of the financial issues that relates to public education, that, we, that parents and, and citizens are keenly aware of the, the, the governance piece that the elected officials that they have elected will no longer, under some of the proposals that are being made, will no longer have responsibility for uh, the, their, their, their education programs in the state. If people have questions and like more information, what should they do? If they have questions and more information, they can contact the Louisiana School Board's office, um, and we'll be happy to uh, connect them with individuals who can give them more detailed information with regard to what the organization is facing.